Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris and here we talk about business, candle making, and how to boss up. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit my product photos. I'm gonna be showing you two things. I'm gonna be showing you how I edit my more personality photos for my products and my white background photos. So I hope you enjoy. So let's get into it. So this photo that I'm gonna be using is one of my unedited product photos. It's one of my personality photos. It's a photo that I just have on my website, not to advertise anything, but just to, well, you know, I'm trying to advertise them. But what I am trying to do is just show lifestyle images. So this is one of my lifestyle images. Um, it's not in a lived space, but it is cute, it's quirky, and it has some color and has some texture, and that's what I want. So first, what I'm gonna do is use this tool right here to crop the image because we don't want these sides and we want it to be even right now it's not even so I'm just gonna crop it out boop, boop. <laughs> and so yes that is where we start next I'm gonna brighten this image I'm gonna go to image adjustments and brightness if I didn't say this before I am using Photoshop um, I'm a beginner in Photoshop. I did try, I did want used to be want to be <laughs> I did used to want to be a graphic designer. So I did take some Photoshop classes in college and you know what I'm saying? They got me here. So, this is what we doing. I know the basics. So, here I'm going to brighten this image and boom, you know? I'm going to add some contrast to add some depth, you know? It is a little grainy because I don't know what I'm doing with this camera either. I'm figuring it out, y'all. So, yeah, so that looks rich, that looks a little rich. Okay, so boom, that works. One of my favorite tools to use in Photoshop is the magic wand tool, and I will show you why right now. This right here is the magic wand tool, and you can use this to select parts of your image to adjust individually. So as you can see, it selected all of the white background. We're gonna brighten this up alone. So I'm gonna show you a few things that can help you with the magic wand tool. First, I'm just gonna finish selecting all of these places. And everything that is selected within this is what will be adjusted. The tolerance is super important because depending on how high or how low your tolerance is, is, the, is going to depend on what is selected by the magic wand tool. If I have this super high, it's gonna select everything. Um, as you can see, it selected the whole image. Um, but if I have this super low, is only gonna select this right here. Ain't nobody, can't nobody do nothing with that. Can't nobody do nothing with that. So what I want is just the background. So because I have the background selected, I want that to be a little bit more bright and vibrant. So I'm gonna adjust the brightness and contrast again, and I'm just going to brighten that alone. And as you can see, it did that. So I'm gonna deselect that area. And next, I'm going to select this brown area oh yeah the tolerance is still five <laughs> guts to adjust that so here I'm going to select this as well to need to select is this brown part of the photo right here so I'm going to increase my tolerance I'm actually lowering it until it's high and then I'm going to just select these parts of the image so next I'm going to be selecting this brown portion of the photo right here I lowered my tolerance a little bit and yeah so I'm just gonna get to selecting and I just want this because I want to improve the vibrance of this photo but not overdo it. But see here how it selected all of these things. My vibrance is too high. So I'm just gonna lower it. And there's a way that I could have deselected those parts, but I feel like doing that. So here we go. There's a way to deselect parts of the photo as well. So these tools are important too. So if I select this, that means I can only select one thing at a time and I can't build upon that selection. This allows me to build upon that selection. This allows me to sub this allows me to subtract from my selection. So, as I said before, you will need to adjust the tolerance depending on how much of the image you want to select. And here, because this is not a part of the brown that I want to edit, I want to subtract from this selection. So I'm gonna need to click on it and select those images, or that part of the image. 
And I don't want to overdo my tolerance because I do want this still collected. Still col Ugh, I can't talk. This still selected. Next, I'm going to work on the vibrance of this area of the photo, and you'll see what I mean by vibrance. Ew! That's a vibrance. Or it could be more dull, you know? So, but I don't want that. I want more, a little bit more saturation, but not oversaturated. And I want more vibrance. So, that is the thing that I wanted to do. Next, what we're gonna do is enhance these fake plants I have here. I'm going to uh, increase my tolerance because this isn't a, another, uh, well, there is this. I'm not gonna select this because this is gonna be too hard to select because there's too many layers. But because this is a flat part of the image, it'll be easier to select just like that. So. And then next, I'm going to select this side as well. I hope the, I was just about to say, I hope the black wasn't selected. Um, so, so to do the rest of it, I'm gonna lower the tolerance a little bit. And, yep. So now we're going to enhance the vibrance of these. Can you see what I mean? It's vibrant. And Next, we're going to take this magic wand tool and select these letters because I want these letters to be more bright, a little bit brighter, and more visible. I want them to pop because that's the reason why we're doing this, all right? So, um, I'm selecting this. I'm selecting the letters. Do, 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 do. And yeah, so I, I'm just selecting these. It is something that is very tedious, and some I really, actually, really hate editing photos. <laughs> wait till I can hire somebody. Just wait till I can hire somebody to do it for me. It's just such a tedious thing. So I'm going to go to brightness, and I'm gonna brighten this on up. And you saw what that did. You already saw what that did. The bright, the contrast doesn't really do anything though, but. And that is how I edit my photos. I didn't mean to do that. But that is how I edit my photos. I can't seem to get it right. But that is how, I, this is how I edit my product photos. This is my before. It's a lot more dull and this is my after. Honestly, my best friends are the magic wand tool, the crop tool, and the adjustment tools for brightness and vibrance, and that is how I get these photos to look the way that they do. Next, we're gonna be editing a white background, so I can show you how I get my white background photos, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video, don't forget to comment down below and like this video and also hit that bell and hit subscribe button because it really does help. I appreciate y'all so much and I hope this helps. So I'll see y'all next time. All right, bye. Show me I can trust you. Don't die. I can really use it. Everybody be loving me like me. Show me I can trust you.